Welcome sa aking social media, sa aking YouTube channel. My name is Randy Cristo. Today our topic is about related electrical, code and practice uh, electrical. I will share with you guys the requirements, the deliverables. Here we go. Electrical, code and practice. Deliverables. Types of drawing, deliverables, single line diagram, electrical layout, and cable routing, circuit diagram, wiring diagram, junction box, mounting arrangement, general arrangement, electrical cable schedule, junction box schedule, distribution panel, and bill of materials. At the same time, BOQ, parehas lang yan load list and load calculation. So ito yung mga types of deliverables sa ating journey kapag nag-feed, engineering, up to construction stage, and also pre-commissioning and commissioning. See, this is all the requirements. Ngayon guys, pag sinabi natin single line diagram, which is, yan ang pinaka-key bago mag sa lahat. Kasi kailangan mo ng load yan. Malalaman mo kung uh, lahat ng mga nilagay mong protection, circuit breaker, uh, lahat kailangan nakakalculate base dun sa load mo. Okay? So, electrical layout, drawings, cable routing, lahat yan. So, basic requirements sa ating electrical requirements through journey sa ating construction, precom, and commissioning. So, ano-anong mga requirements i-discuss natin? So, types of cables. So, ito yung mga types of cables natin. So, yung iba hindi masyado familiar, kahit ako hindi ko lahat familiar yan, lahat ng mga cables na yan. It depends kasi yan sa requirements. Meron tayong industrial, so high-rise building sa mga offshores, onshores, project, so oil and gas. So yun ang mga uh, kailangan natin malaman kung anong klaseng kable ang ating gagamitin. So yan, PILCPBC. So yan yung mga meaning niya. Paper insulated, lead alloy, issued uh, PVC overshoot. So lahat yan, ha? basahin natin, yan. So para malaman natin kung ano-anong mga klaseng kable. Okay, mineral insulated, yan. EPR, CSP, yan. So XLPE, so usually nung nag-start ako sa engineering, yan ang mga ginagamit namin. XLP insulated, single wire armor, PVC overshoot. Then, no, mga cables precaution. So, yan. Para meron lang kayong idea kung ano yung mga needs natin. Sa mga wala pang experience, pwede nyo itong basihan para sa ating mga journey sa trabaho. So, yan. So, meron tayong fire resistant and fire retardant cables. So, during my journey sa mga interview, through sa inspection, sa quality and QC. Ito usually ang ating ma-encounter sa mga interview kung ano yung fire resistant and fire retardant cables. So, yan. So, where cable is installed in location subject to damage. Yan, mga precautions na yan and related sa cables. So, all equipment and fittings for the electrical systems are to be shown in this Include switchboard, transformer, power reactor, motors, motor control center, junction box, valve actuator, earthing, cable junction box, distributed board, etc. are to be identified by the tag number. Meron niya akong interview guys dati. In-interview ako para kasi bago kami mapunta sa project, meron kami mga interview. Iba-ibang project mapuntahan, laging may interview. So, meron pang nagsab tinanong, tinanong ako sa interviewer kung paano daw ako mag-inspect sa panel. Let's say, sabihin ko, 
Okay, let's say switch board. Or let's say transformer. Say, or let's say motor or panel board. Let's say sabihin mo. Ngayon, hindi ko nabanggit yung tag number. Yan, sabi niya sa akin, guys. Meron ka pang kulang. So, anong kulang? Chine ko na yung ba na? Single line de? Uh, kasi, ang tinatanong kung paano ka mag-inspect dun sa installation ng panel. For example, switch gear, panel board. Ano yung babasihan mo? Sabi ko, installation details, general arrangement drawing. Kasi nandun yun lahat sa general arrangement drawing. At anong materials? Approve yung materials? So, kasi installation lang. Di ba? Yun ang basihan. Sabi niya, meron ka pang kulang. Sabi ko, ano pang kulang ko? Ay, JA, general arrangement drawing, tapos installation details, location layout, nandun na rin. Yun pala guys, ang kulang ko. Ang sabi niya, may kulang ka. Ano? Sabi ko, sorry, hindi ko maintindihan. Hindi ko magets Anong kulang ko doon? Identify ng tag, tag number sa panel. Sa, sabi ko, automatic yan. Nandun yun sa general arrangement drawing. Pag-check mo, nandun yung tag number. So, ganun lang guys. Sa segue, segue information lang related sa mga interview. Kasi minsan, once na mag-interview ka, dapat alamin mo rin kung ano yung mga necessary. Huwag yung ma-interview na parang walang silbi. Di ba? Parang tag number, kung ano pa. Hmm. Natatawa ako sa nag-interview sa akin. Eh, sabi ko, so it's, it's very normal. Hmm. Nandun na yan sa general arrangement drawing. And also, you can find out in the installation sa drawing. Anyway, proceed. So, electrical equipment identifier. So, yan. ATS, anong meaning? Automatic transfer switch. ABR, automatic voltage regulator. Usually, makikita natin yan sa genset, generator. So, battery bank, battery charger, battery monitor, circuit breaker, CBB, anong meaning? Circuit breaker box, CBCT, core balance, current transformer. Ang CT, which is current transformer, Distribution board, distribution board emergency, sa mga lighting, yan. So, all of that information is related electrical, fiber optic, it's there. So, high voltage, exceeding 1,000 volts AC, local control station, sorry. Mm. So, yan lahat, guys. So, Identification, paano ka mag-check, paano ka mag-verify during your inspection, at paano ka maglagay din doon sa drawing mo. So, uh, kailangan natin malaman yung mga abbreviation. Yan, continuous yan, mga abbreviation na yan. Mo sa pag-M, motor, tapos yan, lahat, transformer, switch, UPS, usually, alam natin yung UPS. So, yung iba, hindi nakakalam sa VFD, Variable Frequency Drive. So, VT, Voltage Transformer, and PT, that's Potential Transformer. And WR is Welding Receptacle. So, basically, if you are working in the construction, you can see all of this information. Especially, if you are working in offshore activities, Marami kang malalaman tungkol dun sa mga iba-ibang equipments, iba-ibang mga mga materials related offshore. Okay. So guys, that's it. All the informations related to practice and standards and deliverables, yun yung minimension ko related sa electrical. So during my journey sa aking inspection, Bali, gumawa ako ng kunting no notebook. Yung parang sinabi natin na yung Bible mo. Kasi hindi mo mamemorize lahat ng requirements. Hindi mo mamemorize through your journey sa trabaho. Kailangan ilagay mo siya. Isulat mo dito or gawa ka ng mga maliit na books. Re buong information. Let's say kung nasa oil and gas field ako, nasa oil and gas project ako, So yan, kasama yan lahat dito kung ano yung dapat kong ilagay. So kung, mag kung makikita mo, typical installation, capillary tubing pressure, so yan. Makikita mo, 
Tapos, it's to ways and safety. So, ilan ang ang PPM? ano meaning ng PPM? Parts per million, combined space. So, nandiyan lahat. Tapos, it's to ways and safety. Kung explosive limit, LEL, lower explosive limit, 4.3%. So at least meron kang idea. So calculations formula, nandiyan yung calculations formula natin. So calculation formulas, power and controls, nandiyan. So offshore cable, nandiyan po information. Specific specifications sa marshalling cabinet. So nandiyan lahat. So papunta tayo dito sa earthing. So ano pa to? Separation of cables. Tapos, ito sa offshore, valves, offshores. So, kung ano yung tube, ano yung tubing, casting, cold tubing, choke valves. Ano pa ito? SSSB, 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 choke valves. Go. Yan, it's back naman. So, nandito lahat guys. It's back, documentation, UPS cathodic protection. Ano pa ito? Generator, hazardous protection, so types of protections. Nandiyan lahat. Mm. So gas group. Usually pag sa offshore kasi interview, tatanungin ka sa anong mga element dun sa gas, type protection, mga protections sa gas group. Yan. Malalaman natin yan dito. So kailangan meron kang ganito para hindi mo siya makalimutan. Well, let's say kung fiber optic naman So kung ano yung mga protection sa motor din Nandito din So kung baga let's say instantaneous oh, IDMT phase over current So as per ANSI code 50 uh, Oblique 51 Slash 51 So brachial failure So 50 BF So nandito siya sa motor application naman to So yung mga protection relay niya yan. Para pag mag-testing, mag-commissioning, mag-precom, may idea tayo. May idea ka. So, sasabihin mo, anong, anong ginagawa natin ngayon? Oh, sir, meron tayong ganito. Oh, sir, mag-testing tayo ng v v VT o oh, voltage transformer. Oh, mag-testing tayo ng CBCT. Okay? Oh, sir, may idea ka. Oh, so, ano yung protection ng transformer? Bocals relay. So nandito instrumentation. So ito yung gina, nilalagay ko lang during sa inspection ko sa aking trabaho, lagi ko tong bitbit. At the same time, kapag may bago kang project, ito lang yung idea ko kung pag may bago kang project, gumawa ako ng ganito din. Kasi ito parang standard, international standard ba, may idea ka. So ngayon gumawa din ako ng ganito, let's say dun sa ad, ad no project ko sa offshore, yung sa NPCC. 5 uh, years project so 5 platforms yun so gumawa akong ganito din at kasama ito, ito yung ginagawa ko, dalawa so ngayon kinukuha ko yung buong specification which is required, needed sa aking trabaho yan, ano yung outdoor requirements para sa lighting, convenience outlet, fire and gas so minimum spacing of the between cables, high temperature surface, yan. So, yun yung mga kailangan lang. So, fiber optic, o ano yung requirements sa fiber optic. Okay? So, testing and commissioning procedure. So, kailangan mo rin malaman yan para pag-test dun sa fiber optic. So, ano yung mga preservation? So, cable separation, underground. So, ano yung requirements ng instrumentation, kung ano yung slope niya. So, kailangan ba? Ilan ba? One and a half? O depend. So, kailangan siya malaman, guys. Hindi siya, hindi to kuan guys. Hindi, hindi ka na nag-aral dito na kailangan na mong i-memorize. So, through work process, bit-bit mo siya. Oops, sagdali lang. Ano yon uh, Mag-testing tayo. O mag- mag-leak test tayo. O sige, saglit ha. Ano ba ang kuan natin dyan? Pressure, design pressure natin as per requirements. Ganito, ganyan. O, oh, kapag may laid, in, uh, may laid na cable, so mix ang cable. So, kailangan ma-identify mo saan yung high voltage, saan yung low voltage, saan yung power controls. 
Tanyo instrumentation, signals. Dapat alam natin yun. High voltage and low voltage. Cables, separations. So, dapat alamay natin. So, ito yung ginagawa natin. So, parang Bible siya. At the same time, lately, itong sa project ko sa Gasco, ito yung ginawa ko. Talaga, ito, by color na to eh. Let's see, surge protection. You know? Ito, makikita mo. Hmm. So, kapag fire alarm man, fire detection system, yan, naka-colored yan. So, kabilaan yan siya. Hmm. So, control valve. So, pneumatic. So, motor operated valve, MOV or ROV. So, differential transmitter. So, pressure. So, ayan. Ito yun. Kapag mag-check ka rin sa transformer, nandito. Pag-testing, nandito din. So, all of these guys, kailangan mong gawin para sa kapag mag-inspeksyon, kahit sa trabaho natin, nasa construction ka, dapat meron ka rin ganito. Kasi sa engineering kasi, nun sa engineering ako, nandun na lahat, babasahin mo nandun sa specification. Check mo yung data, data sheets, so anong requirements, tapos kung ano yung required ano yung binibigay ng vendor vendor informations so i-apply mo yan sa yung design tapos gawa ka ng gawa ka ng drawing tapos bigay mo dun sa designers or CAD operator so ganun lang siya guys so that's the way how we work um, magkaroon tayo ng idea sa lahat ng nating gagawin at importante ito yung meron kang handouts at laging bitbit mo siya. So, kumbaga, walang kukontra sa'yo. Kasi, this is my experience. Pagpunta mo sa site, let's say, nag-inspection ka or sa construction. Pag-check mo, ano yung kable na yan? So, ano yung bending radius ng kable? Saan naka-install yan? Saan naka-penetrate? Anong gamit? In city or pipes or direct lang siya? So, glan lang, directly? So, depends. O, oh, Tapos sa testing. So, anong, anong testing natin ngayon? Ay, saglit lang ha. Meron tayong reference dito. So, tingnan ko nga yung reference mo. Ngayon, meron, meron kayong both reference. Anyway, sa mga ibang testing naman, kasama naman yung vendors doon. So, that's it guys. How the deliverables, how to proceed, your inspection, your, your construction, your commissioning, your pre-commissioning. All of this because every work there's a stages. So meron din dito yan. Documents, activities, and stages. Kasi pag sa trabaho, gagawa ka ng, gagawa ka ng procedure. Let's say, gawa ka ng procedure. So stage by stage yan. So let's say, kung sa, kung sa first, meron tayong feed. Kaya feasibility studies. After feed, meron tayong uh, detail design. So, kaya i-detail niyan sa kung sino yung consultant. Pagkatapos ng detail design, meron ang client mag-offer yan kung sino yung mag-EPC, Engineering Procurement Construction. Tapos, meron din yung quality department, QAQC department. So, ngayon, sa trabaho sa ITP, Inspection Test Plan, at saka Sa mga requirements sa construction, kailangan satisfied mo as per activities. Kasi by activities yan eh. Construction phase, tapos pagkatapos ng construction, magawa na lahat ng construction kasi pinasa na sa EPC uh, contractor. Sino yung mag-EPC? So lahat ng approved drawing, IFC, AFC, whatever you call that, lahat yan ay ma-applied mapalo as per approved drawing. So, yun yung susundan natin ngayon sa, sa as a PMC, as a client side. So, base tayo sa approved drawing. So, kapag mayroong mga deviation, so that's the time where oh, we're sending a site query or technical query related sa deviation dun sa approved drawing, dun sa IFC drawing or sa AFC drawing. So, ganun siya. So, once na makompleto ang construction, let's say na-install ko na yung switchgear. 
complete na yung cable, complete na yung termination sa lahat controls na install na lahat. So that's a, so that's the time they offer for inspection. So quality team they are the one who do the inspection base doon sa approved drawings natin. So base doon sa termination, interconnections, etc. relevant documents to be inspected. Cost testing. So we do the continuity and IR testing. So Miguel, okay, it depends on the voltage, 600 volts, 1000 volts. So usually, pag controls, controls, so meron tayong instrument controls, 500 volts. Okay, and then for power, that is 1000 volts. And then for the higher, like transformer, higher value, so you can do it uh, 5000 volts. So ganun siya guys, kailangan magkaroon tayo ng idea. So I have so many videos also related in my presentations. Uh, tingnan nyo lang kung na, naka-playlist na yan yung related dun sa aking mga work jobs, activities, electrical, instrumentations, fiber optic, and related sa aking trabaho. So this, this uh, playlist, you can check it out in my YouTube channel. You can see OFW Success Bayani and then click uh, playlist. Tingnan mo, nandun yan, nakasiparit yan. Business, works, uh, jobs, and other things, travels, etc. So this is my passion. I'm sharing all of my information. So hindi lang, hindi madali kahit sabihin natin na, na text time. Kasi ang paggawa ng mga blogs or ganitong klaseng, ganitong klaseng video, uh, it takes time then. So thank you sa inyong support guys. At maraming salamat. So, kung kailangan nyo ng mga information related dun sa electrical and instrumentation, so marami naman dyan makikita din. Anyway, maraming nag-upload, maraming nagbibigay ng buong information related sa larangan ng electrical instrumentation and fiber optic. But for me, this is my experience. I will share that to you. Kung ano yung mga experiences ko. Hindi ko na kailangan uh, galingan dyan. Kung anong klaseng pagalingan. Ang akin lang makapag-share ako dito sa aking channel. Which is my experience. So, itong lahat ng mga... Kasi marami itong libro na ito. Nakakompile to At the same time, may mga record ako sa mga specifications, data sheets, etc. Pero hindi ito basta-basta ipamimigay. Kumbaga, we will share this uh, gradually sa aking YouTube channel. So guys, have a nice day and grace be with you all. Bye-bye.